All right, all right, all right. Well, welcome to North Michigan Biker. If you're new subscriber or you're new to the channel, hello and thank you. If you're a returner, appreciate you guys coming back. But for you new guys who haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button up there. It does me a tremendous amount of good. It really helps the channel out and it helps us grow. I didn't realize how important that was until I started doing some videos on YouTube. And uh, now I just make sure I, I, I like and subscribe every video that I, that I want to like and subscribe to. So... We appreciate you guys doing that for us, but let's get on to the real thing. Um, I got some pretty exciting news. I'm, I'm pretty pumped about it. It's going to be great for, for the channel and great for everybody else out there. Um, I have decided to uh, collaborate with Eagle Lights, and they sent me a new new tail light for my uh, Ultra Limited here. So we're going to, you're going to be an install video of a tail light, but we're going to put it on and see how it looks. Uh, my old tail light, right now I'm running the stock tail light because my other tail light that I bought a year ago this month, um, just decided to poop out on me. So I called the company, which is a very, very uh, big company in the uh, lighting world of motorcycles, probably one of the biggest, um, and sent emails, and I've gotten nothing back in three months. So um, that's all I'm going to say about that. We'll just move on from there. But, yeah, let's so take a look. I'm going to do a little unboxing video too, which I absolutely hate, but why not, right? Before we do that, though, I'm listening to the Mid-Michigan Biker Podcast here on the radio. So if you guys haven't heard of them, go check them out wherever you get your podcast at. They're on Spotify, um, all the play. I don't even know. I get them off of Spotify. So <laughs> they're on I, you know, Apple Music, uh, Apple Podcast, whatever, iHeartRadio. Anywhere you can find your podcast, these guys are on. It's the Mid-Michigan Biker Podcast. Then you can also go find my boy Big E, um, who has the Mid-Michigan Biker youtube page so go uh go check them out i'll put both their things somewhere in this area and uh yeah definitely check them out a little uh directions to their their stuff will be in there what do you call those they're not directions links we're gonna put links to the podcast and to his youtube channel down below so go check them out Thanks. all right let's check this bad dog out i did already open it up obviously i was too excited when i got it in the mail the other day one minute we're going to get this out of the way. More to come on this. I'm a moron. So here we are. This is the window smoke real tail light for the 2012 Ultra Limited. And I believe it probably fits a way more than that, but you'll have to look it up and find out for yourself. But here's the part number. So I've already opened it up, like I said, because I wanted to check it out. And uh, I didn't fully unwrap it, though, so... And it came in another box on top of this. So there was a box on top of a box. It felt like one of those Russian like egg things. So in the bottom here is the uh, the weatherproofing that goes on the back of your bike. We'll get that out of the way here. And then uh, you know just your basic your basic stuff. Nice protective layer here comes on. I have not fully opened that up and. It looks good. Yeah, I think I'm going to like that. It feels, it's really light too, which, I mean, not that I have a race bike, but, you know, it, it feels pretty light. So we're going to put this bad dog on and see how bright it is too. So I think this one does have the uh, built-in flasher deal on it as well. I couldn't remember. The reason I got it was it has the lower tail or uh, license plate light. Um, I don't have that on either one of the lights that I was running, so now I'm legal. But yeah, let's go over to the Yeltra and, uh, and stick around. All right, so we're over here at the uh, the Ultra, and uh, I don't know if you guys see this or not. Let me point you down a little bit right there. So this bad dog, get a bit of picture there. You see that? Pretty nifty, right? That came from Michigan Bike Life. The people at Michigan Bike Life sent that over along with a very nice donation for a t-shirt sponsorship for our um, Some Gave All Memorial Weekend Ride coming up here May 25th that benefits the uh, kids and the veterans of Raiden Liberty Ranch. So if you want to know more about that, head over to our Facebook page and our Facebook group, um, Northern Michigan Bikers with an S, and uh, join up, and you can learn more about that whole thing. But, uh, yeah, they're very generous, awesome people, great Michigan people, so uh, proud, to, proud to have them on the back of my bike. But uh, let's get back to business. So this is now the 
stock tail light that I replaced with last year when I bought the license plate relocation kit from a very large lighting company in the motorcycle world that will not be named because we don't bash people. This thing is awesome. I love it. Um, tail light, I thought I loved as well, but it did not work out as planned and things happen, but that's why you answer your emails and your phone and your customers call and, uh, and, and want to know what they can do about it. Moving forward, we're going to take this guy off so you can see the light was shining up here. Um, does me no good down this way, but uh, pretty, pretty simple. You got two screws here, and these guys just bows on out like so. They can't fall out because there's these little lockers in the back that keep the screw from falling over or falling out, rather. But uh, at least there should be. I could be wrong. I'm wrong about most things. And then you uh, sucker on out. Yep, I was wrong. Crazy. Then you just pop these guys out. It's a pretty simple thing. But to do this, it's hard to really see that. Let me take you in a little closer here. Your Harley engineering and all their glory. Put this wire up here and this one down here. This is one you have to take out more often than not. And they decided to make it the most difficult thing you could possibly do when you have giant pickle fingers like me. So, anyways, we'll get it out with the new one on. We'll see how. Voila, beautiful stock tail light that I'll keep because you never know, man. These things, you always want to keep something like this around because you never know when something else may break down on you. And you can still see some remnants of dirt and sand from the last guy that was in there. So I like to take advantage of uh, having parts off and do a little, a little cleanup on it. It doesn't hurt it. It doesn't hurt you. Doesn't make you any less manly. You're not a biker. You clean your tail light. Of course he's wrong. And anyway, nobody except that little freak would ever say something like that to our faces. Yeah! <laughs> so I put that waterproof waterproofing membrane in there. I did have to cut it out a little bit to fit these wires to go in there, but. That happens. Now uh, you take your, your light here, make sure that your release button right there is on the bottom. Move that guy out of the way. Click. This guy, the release button's on top. Click. And you try to stick your wires in that little hole there. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. You can feel that, uh, that membrane in there. That's, that fits good. I was a little bit worried about that, like I am on everything. Um, it just doesn't fit quite right to what OEM is, but uh, this hit the nail on the head. So let's get these uh, two screws in, and uh, we'll we'll see how bright it is. Ta -ta! So that's it, man. That's as simple as it gets. This thing is. It looks really good on the on the back end. I'm going for that little bit of a smoked out blackout rear end. I would like to find a blackout piece for that guy. I just have not gotten around to it yet. But uh, yeah, that looks good. Now let's see how bright it is here. It is a uh, Saturday afternoon, so I shut the garage lights off, but uh, it might give us a little bit of an idea. I like it. Nice. I really like that. All right, it doesn't get much easier than that for an install. Two screws, take them out, unplug the light, plug a new light back in, install those two screws. Easy breezy. So um, again, you can go to eaglelights.com and in their uh, discount section, you can type in Northern Michigan Biker and you'll receive 15% off your order. So that's a pretty good deal. I'm really happy with them. Again, I have uh, many, many friends who have uh, Eagle Lights on their bike. I've ran them before on my other bikes. 
and uh, they're they're great lights. So and a good company, they actually will be there when you call. So um, I definitely uh, do appreciate the opportunity to work with them, and I hope to do more in the future. So again, go check them out, EagleLights.com, and uh, again use that use that discount code Northern Michigan Biker. I do appreciate you guys, and we'll see you very soon. See ya.